Okay, I've got another video here for those engine DJ users and prime and um, then an DJ prime users like the prime 4, the prime 2, goes the mixstream pros, the SEs um, users. Now, this is more about your transitioning from Serato to engine engine DJ. So when I first got my Prime 4, I wanted to convert all my playlists, or should I say crates, onto my Engine DJ software, i.e. the Prime 4, obviously. But um, what, what I had a bit of trouble, I can't remember exactly what the problem was, but um, one, I know one of the problems was when I converted all my, um, when I used Engine DJ to get my um, crates and stuff from from Serato, I can't remember seeing any of my cue points and plus on the drive it used a different um, file structure totally totally alien to what I was used to so I had to come up with another solution so I searched around and I found this software this one is called DJ conversion utility okay now this software it allows you to convert from like if you use Serato and you want to transfer your crates to a record box or a DJ software, virtual DJ, this one will do it for you and it will carry along all your loops and your cues as well. Okay, so so I got a hold of this software and it, it's done the job for me. So it converted all my crates all onto Engine DJ. And I thought this is great, all cues and everything. But I still continue to use it. The reason being because sometimes I may jump back to Serato, depending on what I'm using. And um, it's nice to have all my crates and my playlists synchronized, i.e. with the cues. So what I normally do, I'll show you what I do. This is what I normally do. So say for example, I'll get a whole bunch of new tunes, I download tunes, I've selected what I want to, um, be in my crates and stuff in my playlist um, I'll normally ha sort out my cues and put them into their different crates in Serato yeah and then what I would do is convert it all over into engine DJ but well I, I'll have the like a, um, a certain folder like this one transfer where I get all my new tunes put them in add the cue points and then I'll convert this transfer crate into engine dj and then put them in their different playlists like r&b hip-hop and so on but um this software is um, it's very good software i highly recommend it and that's why i'm making a video about it this is the only way this is the only real way i kind of use engine dj i don't really use it to prepare my tunes i'll, I'll do it in sera i still do it in sera same thing if you're from Recordbox, any other um, DJ software, you can use this to do the same thing and keep all your DJ software synchronized. So what I'm going to show you, just going to give you an example, like if you wanted to move your crates from Serato to to Engine DJ, you can. I'm going to show you how you can use these this suite of software. To do the trick, okay. So normally, say for example, I prepared this a bit earlier. Just say for example, these these crates here is my full library, my collection, and I want to get this, including all the tracks with their cue points and stuff like that, into Engine DJ. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, another thing with that software as well, what it does. It will add Q, it will add a cue point. If you haven't already got a cue point on a track, it will add a cue point at the beginning for you, which is very good, which can be useful as well. But if they have cue points already, like this one, it will bring it along. Or this one, this one's got two cue points, it will bring them over as well. Okay. So this is the steps that it will take. So what I'm going to do, for time's sake, I'm going to convert just this crate, okay? 
Oh no, let's do the whole lot so you can see how it works. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to come out of Serato. I think I'm going to close it. Yes. Some parts of the video I may skip because I might skip through it because some of the processes can go a bit long and I don't want to keep you hanging around because it's nice to just be short, sharp and straight to the point. Okay, so the first thing we'll do, we'll open up the DJ conversion utility. So as it opens up, <coughs> it goes through a few checks. Now this software, it does use record box as you can see here. As it's um as you could say it's 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 base for its database conversion, okay? So as you can see here, you've got the different softwares where you can convert from. And you can convert to any of these software as well. But if you notice engine DJ is not there, okay? If you want to convert from engine DJ, there is another there is another software that comes with it which is then an extractor tool but I can show that in another video but so far right now what we want to do is convert from Serato so once you click on that everything here is pretty much selected as it should be okay I won't go into detail what they are but the, everything ticked it just works for me okay so we start conversion So now it opens up, it shows you all the crates in your Serato. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on this one, test, which covers the hip hop, the house, RB, slow jams, and soft RB. So I'll click OK. And then what it does, as it says, it says Serato to Record Box XML. Okay, so what it does, it converts it into Record Box first the XML file for record box where you want when whenever you got like playlists and stuff that you want to convert that you want to put into record box it puts it in a record box XML file and then you could put it in the playlist so it puts it in there first so this part now is converting that XML into record box 6 so after this bit, it will open up record box, but you don't need to go into record box, so you can just close it away, close it straight away. So it's going for these 42 tracks right now. Now bearing in mind, this is 42 tracks, so what I'd recommend if you wanted to convert your whole library, if this, it could take a long while, depending on your computer, just the speeds of your drives it could take a long while so I wouldn't really recommend just selecting the whole crates all at once I'll do a few crates at a time so right now as you can see it's opening up record box now that part of the conversion is done so we don't need to see the log so as I said before once record box is opened you don't need to go in here but I could quickly show you where those crates are now the record box XML select um, section is here it shows you playlists and it shows you the tests and those are the crates that we took from Serato so then you can if you wanted to you could just right click and export the playlist or export the folder or export playlist and it will bring it up there ready to play in record box so we don't, as I said before you don't need record box now so we can close record box so once record box is closed we need to go to the next software which is the Denon conversion utility now there's other software here as well I'll explain what this one does this is coming from Denon to other software but this one the collection backup tool now I'm gonna skip this one 
because all this does it converts those crates now onto an external drive onto another drive if it's onto onto the drive which you use for your prime 4 now i use my the same um my lib my main library consists of my external drive which i use to in engine plus i use it in my prime 4 so i don't need to do that because it will just do everything on the same drive if you don't select that so say for example you got um you use your drive the drive in the bay underneath your underneath your unit with using the prime 4 or the or the se um players those one that's when you need to use this one so you can put it onto another drive but i'm going to skip this and go straight to the denon conversion utility so this one is the one where it actually brings it in to engine dj So now, as I said, once before, once again, all these are set as I want them. The only thing I really change from here, it says center jog display. Now what it does, it has a logo that it can put in there, but I'd rather use my own logos. So it says if a track contains no art logo, it will use a logo that's made by the software. But to use my own one or keep it empty, if there's no logo on the track, I select this one, okay? everything is pretty much the same let me just go in here everything here I'll keep the same so I'll go back and then start the conversion so now once you so now you can see that the test um, crate that I picked containing all the other crates is the only one there that was um, converted so now I'm going to pick it once again, which is selecting everything under it as well. Now press OK. So as it goes through, it does a few processes. It does create a backup as well. So this is in real time, I'll just keep this going. As this bit doesn't take too long. So we're nearly literally nearly there now. So the next thing it's gonna do is gonna automatically open up engine DJ. Conversion utility needs your attention. Well, it has this alert to let you know that um, engine DJ is gonna it needs to be opened. So it does. Once you press OK, it'll open it. So if you are doing something, if you are converting um, quite a lot of um, tracks, i.e. in crates, you can always go away and then once you hear this alert, you can come back to it. So I'll press OK. And it's going to start up engine DJ as you can see. So when you're in engine DJ, on the left here in the collection, you'll see like a playlist or crate saying then and conversion utility. In here, you'll find another crate. It says analyze these tracks first. Now depending on how fast your computer is or how much tracks you may have in your your actual collection this bit tends to take a little while for it to open up so once engine started then what you need to do you need to go to the drives I'll go to stuff I'll go to collection and I'll go to this this folder, or should I say this playlist, it says Denon Conversion Utility. Now in this one is the tracks and they need to be analyzed. So you see there, there's a 
playlist called analyze these tracks first so once you go in here you can see there's the tracks here should be 42 okay it's 36 some of these tracks may be contained on my driver um, in my collection already so but these are the ones that need to be analyzed so we select all of these and analyze them which shouldn't take long so you can see it started the process But I know you might be saying, so hold on a minute, Where's, I thought you said all the cue points and loops are going to be transferred. Just hold on a second, yeah? First it analyzes them, and then it comes out of Engine DJ, and then adds the information on, but it has to be analyzed first. So once these are analyzed, we'll come out of Engine DJ, and then go back to the then in conversion utility software and it will finish off doing what it's doing so now once these are all analyzed like this we can close engine DJ so it jumps back to the then in conversion utility and now this is where it adds all the extra data like the queues and loops So now that's done. So now Engine DJ reopens. And if we go to our drive, which is my drive is stuff. It's just checking the device. It takes a little while to warm up. So now we can look on the drive. And when you go into your collection, you see that playlist once again then in conversion utility but unlike the last time now you see one that says converted playlist and then when you go through here these ones are done other times but this is the one we're looking for test and you should see the crates from Serato in the same order as well so if we go into R&B that's what I was focusing on so you'll see the tracks are now here all in the same order remember what I said about the cue points as well now some of these tracks before the ones with the yellow cue points at the beginning are the tracks that didn't have cue points and these ones were added during the process so as you can see everything's all there this one didn't have a cue point and now it has right at the beginning which will save you a lot of time if that's where you put your cue points so you could still continue to add your cue points but this is what another this is a method that you could use to convert from different software into engine DJ okay so I hope that you find this helpful if you do just give the video a like and if you want to see more to subscribe and um, if you got any more questions on this if I didn't make anything clear by all means leave a comment and I'll get back to you. But in the meantime, happy DJing.